After Roy Blanks on our last row rut outing, well, he will say it was dear management in action, he still has lots of room in his freezer. So to maximise our chances this morning, he's adding muntjac to the ingredients list. Especially as a drop in game shooting on this estate means unusually inactive woods like this one are going to do nothing but nurture the little non-native. Roy's first call brings in a super cautious buck. Little buck. circumnavigated all the way around and then made his way up to us here so he came in from quite a way through that how wasn't the buck shot? sorry how did he take that shot how did i take that shot in what way did you rest him in your arm or something yeah because i couldn't move i didn't want to move the sticks or anything like that i didn't want to move my body so i just brought the rifle around like that and then shot like that so if I if I'd really spun round, he would have made us. I mean, he was. Well, sticks. Is no way you're going to move your sticks. Well, no way I was going to move my sticks, and there's no way I was going to going to be able to turn on him because he was no, ten yards. Through the camera, I had no idea that it was that close. Did you not? You know, as I say, he was he was literally in on ten ten yards on a set. I I just say that rifle was really quiet. It is incredibly quiet, isn't it? The uh, the Stalin moderators are brilliant on these. It's a, a lovely, lovely little setup on the the Tika T3 with the Stalin. Um, incredibly lightweight as well. I could just pull that rifle around, just pulled it around like that, rested it on my arm here, um, and was able just to take the shot on him as he was coming in. They are a, a very nice little setup for this sort of terrain. Okay, 13. 13 what? 13 meters. Okay. So that was three meters out on that. And again, perfect little cull animal. So we shall deal with him and see what else we can find. Is this just one or is there two, Roy? How do you mean? Scent glands, one on each leg, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, one on each leg. You know, yeah. Bilateral scent glands. Would they rub that on a tree or what was it? Yeah, no, so it's just as they're, they're walking through vegetation. So as they're walking through the, the long vegetation, that's just constantly marking, leaving the scent as they go, so marking their territories as they're walking through. Do you recognise this chap? No, no, this is a, a youngster. He's not an overly wide head, but for a young deer, for a yearling, it's still a, a, a relatively good head. He's still got the makings of a, a six-point buck there. Patience once again pays off, as does being confident, shooting freehand. In this instance, Roy had the choice of using the Leica Fortis 6 scope with its wide field of view, or switching to the Aimpoint Acro riding on top. You can't have too many toys, tools, I mean. That's that little chap dealt with, so we'll just leave him here. Hanging in the tree, there's not too much fly activity here, so we should be right for an hour or so. He'll be certainly better off there than he will be in the back of the truck. Now the pressure is off, Roy has a play. We drive, stop and test sex drive. Oh, come in. One of them even finds Roy's truck alluring. I was hoping we could get him a bit closer, but I think 35 yards for bringing him into a, a large Toyota is um, is probably about as good as we're going to get. But you know that that is a prime example of what goes on when you know, you've got an animal that is sexually charged. We see prime examples of that every Friday and Saturday night at the pubs, but he was a, a nice little lad, he had a lovely shape on him. He's going to be one just to leave for the future. 
Having confused some bucks on the open ground, Roy dips back into the slightly shabby woods. He lets this buck go. They had a nice shape. Out of sight of the camera, a Monty mooches across. It wasn't coming in, that was going across. Was it? Yeah. That was perfect timing for the 10 minute chat, wasn't it? It was. So... You don't like Monty? That worked out quite well. So hold on, that was a brace of mud day. Sorry? Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From zero to hero in no time at all, Roy has three on the ground. Got a, a buck in the dough, Munty. It was the buck that I shot first. Um, so he came on and I stopped him because he was just crossing through. I just stopped him with the call. Um, and then the doe just walked out going back that way. And we have got an increasing muntjac population on here. So I think we're gonna see a lot more muntjac moving around, especially in a season like this where a lot of estates aren't shooting. So the disturbance is going to be minimal um, in, the, in a lot of the woodland. So it's gonna be prime for, for muntjac breeding and, and muntjac um, reproduction. So that was a, a nice little opportunity to take a couple home and fill the freezer. And they do, they do taste divine. With the two little deer cleaned, it marks the end of another row rut and another exceptional delve into the Just rose world, thanks to the hunter's right. box of tricks. I wonder <laughs> how many non-hunters buy row calls. If you're looking for hunting gear from quiet ticker T3Xs to aimpoint red dot sights to Leica scopes and range finding binos, then head to kitfinder.co.uk where a network of dealers are ready to respond to your kit requests. Link is in the description below.